Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Over the last few days, the Windows 11 ISO has been leaked. But should you be installing this? So, a couple of days ago, the Windows 11 ISO was leaked and uh, has now been available for many users to actually install on their own systems. This comes ahead of its launch and also before even being officially announced by Microsoft. While quite surprising as uh, Microsoft claimed that Windows 10 would be the final version of Windows, they have actually now revealed a official end of support date of 14th of October 2025. Now, to be fair, what we've seen of Windows 11 so far doesn't seem to be such a massive leap over Windows 10 in terms of its design and UI, but there are still some significant changes. Windows 11 seems to have a Mac OS-like inspired design with a uh, newly centered taskbar. Don't panic, you can move it back to the left if you want to. Rounded corners on Windows, significantly redesigned icons, and also widget implementation. While the internet has been quick to uh, download this ISO and try it out for themselves, there does still seem to be quite a lot of confusion in the PC community regarding this. Now, the title of this video, Don't Install the Windows 11 ISO, may seem a little rash, but not saying you shouldn't, but at the same time, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not going to tell you where to download this ISO, but you should be doing it in the correct way. A lot of users are installing Windows 11 on their local drives and uh, assuming that you just now can use Windows 11 moving forward, but are also showing disdain for the OS as they believe it's unfinished. Yes, it's a leaked beta operating system. What did you expect? The official version of Windows 11 may even look completely different by the time it comes out as well, so don't get too hung up. Don't get me wrong, I'm keen to get my hands on Windows 11 and actually try it out for myself, but I'm happy to wait for an official release and not be liable to whatever torrent I've had to download it from. If you do want to try out the leaked Windows 11, do it the right way. The best way to do it would be to try it out in a VM, which is going to be the most secure way of trying out, or perhaps you may have an old hard drive lying around that you could install it on there instead. If you do it either of those ways, you're good to go. You really shouldn't install this locally on your daily system, but I suppose I can't stop you, but at the same time, I wouldn't advise it, and uh, you are doing so at your own risk. Microsoft are announcing something which will most likely be Windows 11 on the 24th of June this Thursday, so it should be interesting to hear what they have to say, and additionally there are rumours that Microsoft will tie Windows 11's release date in with Intel's upcoming older late release, so uh, we'll have to wait to see whether we hear any more about that. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.